Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So one more tricky Java question. Let's see who solved this problem. You can pause the video first, answer this, uh, listen to this question and then answer it in the comment section. You have to print with the blank main. It means you are not allowed to use anything over here. It means you are not allowed to write system.orgprintln and then print uh, hello world here. No, you are not allowed to do this. So then most of the people they give answer that uh, you can write a static block. Of course you can use it. So for example, if you are writing a static block here and uh, you simply write one hello world like this. And when you run this program, the hello world will be printed that we all know that the static block will be loaded at the time of uh, class loading. And then before main method, it will be executed and then hello world is getting printed. But what if I, if I ask you, you are not allowed to use anything inside the main method and you are not allowed to use any static block also. So let me delete this. Then how will you do this? And you have to print any string, for example, hello world. So how to do this? So fine. So I'll do one thing, see this carefully. I'm going to create a static method. And uh, let's see, this is static method, public static uh, void. And my method name is, let's see, print method or print something okay whatever let's see print uh, string method whatever hmm? and then this method is saying system dot and let's see it's printing uh, hello world here and then do one thing you just write return one from this function and then instead of void it will be integer because we are returning integer one here and then you declare one static variable in this class and static, for example, let's see integer um, p is equal to, and then you call this function because print a string function is returning what? It's returning one, it's returning an integer. So I'm storing inside the p over here and that's it. And then you run this program. So what will happen? We know that, okay, static is stored, static will be stored inside the common memory location and it will be loaded once the class is loaded. So in that case, what will happen? The static method and the variable will be called. So this variable will be called and by the time Java will call this particular function and then hello world will be printed. It will return one and then the value of P will be one, but that we are not bothered about it. So let's run it and let's see. Is it really printing hello world or not? So when you run this and see the output, it's printing hello world. Awesome. So this is a way uh, if someone is asking you this question that without using a static block and without writing inside the main method, you are not calling any method inside the main method as well and you are not creating any object also of this particular class and then you have to print any string like hello world or something this is a trick that you can use it a very very simple video very simple solution just simple do that and just you can try by your own and in fact you can return anything it's not about only one you can return zero also it really doesn't matter we just need to return something okay so let's run it and let's see this again this is again giving you hello world. In fact, you can return a boolean also. For example, let's see if I'm returning a boolean. I just need to change its uh, type boolean here. Okay, and instead of this, I'm saying, okay, fine, you return true from here. This is also should work. So let's see. This also should work in that case. So it's printing hello world. So ultimately, you should return something and then just call that function so that why we are returning because we can call this particular function here like that. And then we are holding in this and make sure that okay this is also is static and this is also static in nature then it will work fine okay so that's a simple trick use it and let me know if you have any of the solution to print a specific string without using anything inside the main method but you are you have to use main method because if you don't use it you cannot execute this program you won't be able to see in fact you cannot execute that see this run as java application is not even available so main method should be there but it's a blank main method that's the question thank you so much guys that's all this particular video i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all